what's up guys today tutorial is going to blow your mind without using bible show or easy worship i'm going to show you guys how you can use your smartphone whether it's an android phone or an iphone how you can use it to present song lyrics or bible presentation into your live stream using vmix or obs all right so what the demonstration after they are going to dive into the tutorial what this all right so you can see that this is a song i have over here and then when i when i click you see it is changing updating nicely on the screen all right so this is what i'm going to show how to do using vmix or obs and then you can easily use it in your live streams and your church service okay so this is what i'm going to show you how to do and it's very flexible and easy so with that much do guys let's dive right into the tutorial okay so um what you are going to do is you are going to get started all right so i'm going to introduce you to the website or the web app you are going to use to achieve this result all right so we are going to go through the interface of the web app and then we are going to do all the settings and everything from there then after that we are going to look at how we can do our projection in then mix okay all right um, then we are going to look at how we can also do the same projection in the OBS software all right then after that we are going to look at how we can project bible scriptures all right how we can project bible scriptures using either your smartphone or your pc all right then after that we are going to look at how you can project song lyrics okay whether we are going to use the online or the offline method of doing that okay then after that we are going to look at other things like the digital the streaming the screens and the lower tests that come with the application Pick up any browser of your choice and type this website allstreamhub.com. Right, this site here allstreamhub.com. Here, right, this one. Okay, all right. So, this is the interface of the website. All right, so this is the website I'm going to use for it. Okay, so you can see that they are saying that add some lyrics and scriptures to your live stream. Okay. So if you go through the website there are a lot of information here you can learn from right so if you're a first time user make sure that you sign up over here all right and it's totally free okay they have a pro plan that you can buy if you like more features okay but i think with the basic features it can do a lot for you all right so when you check their pricing here with the free features you can get one custom screen three bible versions then look at some of their online songs okay all right so I think with the free version you can do a lot with it so let's head over to the dashboard okay so after you register and click on the dashboard this is where it will take you to okay so this is where we are going to connect all our pieces together here all right so when you look at the first tab over here we have the digital screen where we can get our project pro projector link and then our obs overlay link over here all right and then this one you see over here the main that have the text boxes over here they are for lower third all right if you want to show the pastor's name and then maybe the position of the pastor the two first one the first two are what you are going to use and then if you want to show a, a moving slider that will be moving across the screen you can use this one all right i'm going to show you how to do all this all right and then the second part we have is the bible versions all right we have the bible over here that you can project all right okay we have the bible you can project over here and then we have the song okay we can do local lyrics and then web lyrics okay i'll show you how to do all the setup and then we have the history where uh, any song or scripture you've projected before when you go to the history it will cause it there for you then when you go to the screens too you can set up a screen over here then if you want to do a streaming to maybe facebook or youtube you can use this area to do that all right so let's get started with the first part okay so quickly this is the uh, getting started uh, and then lest i forget when you click over here we have the projector screen then when you click down over here we have the obs screen over here the down here we have the obs screen over here all right 
So this is all about the get started feature, all right? Okay guys, so the second part we are going to look at is we are going to look at how we can connect our projector link into our Vmix software so that anything you project over here you will, be, you will be able to see it, alright? So if you want to do so, click on the projector link over here, alright? Click on it like this, a web page will open for you. When this page open, it's going to be blank so make sure that you copy the URL at the top over here. Just press copy the url okay and then another option you can use to copy is just right click on the link and then go to copy link address and then it's going to get it copy done for you all right so after you've copied it like this let's go to vmix and then let's paste the link over there and then when we start projecting you are going to see okay so when you launch your vmix application click on add input over here click on add input over here then select web browser over here okay then paste your link over here paste it like then the width let's make it uh, 1280 by 720 okay 720 1280 by 720 and then press okay so you can see the web browser tab over here it's black because we've not projected anything inside okay so let's head over to our website this is our website okay okay so the first thing we want to do is i want to project some lyrics first okay so click on the lyrics tab okay so when you click on the song lyrics tab we have the local lyrics and then the web lyrics okay the local lyrics are songs that you manual input them and then the web lyrics are songs that you have to get the song title on the artist name and then automatically the website will pull the song for you without you typing anything all right so this is how it works okay so um this is a song we are going to use all right the goodness of god okay so this is the title of the song let's copy it over here title of the song um uh, good so let's post title of the song over here and then the artist the artist of the song okay battle music all right let's copy and then paste it like this and then click on submit it's loading voila you can see it's i'll pull the songs for you okay and then it's nicely aligned okay it's nicely aligned you can see over here it's nicely aligned all right so when you click on it like this you, you can see the projector screen it shows over here okay when you click on the second one it shows over here when you click on the third one like this it shows over here okay so let's head over to vmix and see how it shows there voila when you open vmix we show showing over here okay so let me minimize my browser over here okay let me minimize my browser like this okay so that you guys can see it well all right so this is uh don't do it well okay so this is it you guys can see how it's very fast it's working so well all right it's working so well so this is how you can easily get the song into vmix okay so there are a few settings that i want to show you how to do all right so let's assume that uh, people are singing your child they are singing and they want to display this lyrics beneath them how are you going to do that and how are you going to remove this black background so that you get the songs displayed nicely all right so let me show you how to do these settings then after that we move on with the tutorial all right okay guys so let's assume that this image you are seeing over here is a video okay maybe you are doing online streaming the singers are on the stage they are singing you want to project or you want to display the lyrics beneath them all right how are you going to do that all right so check something 
when you click on the overlay they have a black background which is not that okay you don't want this effect so how are you going to remove this black background so that you get only the text display beneath it all right so this is what i'm going to show you how to do okay so if you want to remove this black background click on the cork icon over here okay click on the cork icon over here and then you, you can see the black background over here and then cl click on the color key check this color key all right check it and then it's going to take it out all right so you can clearly see that now the background have will move okay but we don't want the text is too big so let's reduce the size so click on the cog icon again and then click on position all right so with the position we want to zoom it out okay so let's zoom our text out small and then we want to bring it down all right so let's bring it down I'm sorry let's bring it down over here okay so maybe we want to display something like this here okay so let me, let me. if you still want it to be smaller you can make it small like this you can bring it down like this okay you just play around with the settings when you are satisfied with it you just click ok all right so let's go back to our okay so you can see that it's changing nicely over here all right when you click it changes when you click it changes okay when you click it changes all right okay guys so this is how you are going to do the setup in the remix and then everything is working nicely and perfectly all right so if you want to also do the scriptures you can also do the same thing over here you just come to the scriptures over here all right and then you select the bible version you want okay but before you do that click on this settings or cog icon over here when you click on it it has other bible versions that you can check okay you have french you have the french you can check it out the greek and the rest all right so if you don't want it they can turn it off off if you want it you can turn it on all right then after that after after that then when you click on the books okay these are the books uh, they have so if you don't want to do it like can write by search okay so you can search it when you search it just comes let it because okay when you search it just comes okay so let's say first john when you click on it just comes like that okay it's very fast all right then the chapters too the chapters are here if you want chapter three just click on it like this then click on the bible version you want then it just populates it for you all right then if you want chapter first john chapter five verse three just click on it like this then it just works okay first john it just works like that okay it works like that okay so this is how you can display bible scripture so let's look at how it's responding at the bible or of the easy worship software okay when you click inside like this it's displayed over here so in this case if you want it to display in a wider screen then you have to get a background for it okay you just have to have a background for then use it as an overlay okay so you can do the settings over here like this you know these settings we did was for the song okay so if you don't want it you can reset it to its default size okay reset it to default size then leave it there it will come it okay guys so those of you who want to use your smartphone to do all this all right so just open the website on your smartphone do all your settings and your configurations then after that send the link copy the link and then send it to your vmix or obs software and then you start operating it from the phone all right as you saw on the demonstration so it's very simple to do right click on your obs 
overlay link and then copy it all right then the copy it like this launch your obs application like this all right i've gone ahead to upload this photo all right so what you have to do is you click on the plus icon okay the source and that plus click on the plus icon browser and then let's name our browser all stream all right all stream and then press okay all right so uh, what you have to do here is that paste your link let's change the dimensions 1280 as we did in the vmx 720 press ok all right so let's adjust it to fit our screen nicely okay so it's nicely fit so let's go back to our obs sorry let's go back to our web app all right okay so let's let's first project a scripture let's check the obs screen this is the obs screen okay this how it's looking let's look at whether it's coming or not nothing is showing over here all right guys so when you come across such a problem all right this is how you are going to fix it all right so this is why it is important that you watch to the end of the video so that you not skip then you come and tell me that what i'm doing is not working all right so when you connect everything and it's not working click on the settings icon over here and then come to navigate to advanced okay click on advanced and then scroll down scroll down until you see source enable browser source hardware acceleration or check it or check it like this and then press apply it's going to reset restart the obs application okay it's going to restart the application yes okay guys so our obs application have been restarted so let's check whether it's working or not so uh, let's go to the amplify version then click on this it's showing on the obs screen over here so let's head over to our obs and see that you see that it's showing over here nicely all right it's showing over there nicely so if you want to project lyrics as well you, you, you what we did over get the name of the artist and then the song all right but one thing I, I didn't show you guys at the first example with the vmix software is that if you want to do the local lyrics okay when you add a song okay just paste the song over here okay sorry click on add song and then title and say goodness goodness of god goodness of god and then paste the letters over here and then click on submit goodness of god submit is going to put the songs nicely for you okay it's going to arrange them nicely for you as you can see in the OBS stream over here all right and then if you want to add a lower peg to your stream to you add the name whatever you want to add over here whether the name of the person what the church name or the position then a sliding text information then you click on submit then it shows over there all right so when i open my this you can see it's showing nicely over here all right it's showing nicely over here okay guys so this is what i want to show you how to do and i'm very excited that you're able to stick to the end of the video to see all this all right i believe you are going to do it in your church and god bless you for watching the tutorial i'll catch you with another tutorial another time thank you for watching and have a bye-bye.